Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the Russell. This is the June contract. I'm still using that because it's got another couple of days, but I'll switch over to September. You can see we made a 382 retracement. We took out the high uh, Friday. And uh, you can see here now we're starting to uh, back off a little bit. But the one that's most interesting, folks, is we did get a sell signal for the first time since Hector was a pup. And that dog is, let me tell you, Anyway, here is the high last night in the S&P. We'll just get, come over here so we can see it together. I happen to be looking at this at the time. And there's the, there was the high right here. What we want to wait for is the first 382 ABCD, and there it is right there. It took about one solid hour to do it, but it went exactly to the 382. You'll see there's your AB equals CD right there, and that measured to it. And that tells us that the profit, whoopsie daisy, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I wanted to do something else. Let me get up here with the um, eight minutes so we can see what the profit would have been on that. There was the spot. There was your 382. So there's your A, B, C, D leg here. You see we went down quite a bit lower. Now we've come down even lower. Let's just double check to see if this one happened to be another 382 off of that high. I doubt it, but we'll double check it. No, it didn't quite didn't quite do that. Now, the one that has been the most interesting was the NASDAQ. And this is why I was watching it, because I had some time uh, time on my hands. But this was the NASDAQ last night. We got up to 20,100, way above the old highs back here. Just shattered all the records. And this was a little tiny 382 right here. I didn't count that because it was too small. But look at this big one that we had right there. The market came down exactly to it dropped 200 points and it's still dropping this is tells us we're going to get down to this level here we're almost there right now this is where it's got a hold if it doesn't hold this then uh you know it could pro probably go down uh, a great deal more so th those are this is short term folks i'm telling you I, this is what i do sometimes they work sometimes they don't that's <laughs> that's the bottom line but you know this is the first time in a long time that we've actually had one of these that actually worked I mean, they work, but sometimes, you know, when you're in a strong trend, they don't work. So this was one that did absolutely what you wanted to do. It had everything necessary, and the risk was small. So we're going to find out if that's going to mean too much or not, but we'll do one thing at a time, okay? Now, let's take a look over here at the gold market. Gold market had a big run today. I want you to see here, because you see this level right here. That was the 78% level, folks, of the move way back here. And all we've done now is we've come back and look where we came to. From your low up to your high, came right to the 382 retracement, stopped dead in its tracks right there. This means that we're probably getting ready to go higher. we got three little bottoms in here, and the market's down $21. There's nothing bearish about it all, and that's where it's sitting here right now, looking like it's ready to getting uh, move to the upside. That's what it appears to. There's the 382 of this move. We've hit it one, two, three times, and the third time will be a charm. It'll be popping through here probably any moment, and then we'll see. If it doesn't, of course, then we'll be looking at something a little bit farther deep uh, in the correction, but that's where we've stop so far is that really strong support in here so that's what we're watching here now i'm going to have to move over to corn because we've got stan harley coming in here and we've had some really really nasty things happening here if you're on the bullish side and we're not we're not involved we we were waiting we got to get this uh, solstice so see we're making a new Almost making a, let's see, going back to the old lows back here. This is exactly what you want to see happening, folks. We're right at the beginning of the, uh, what's well, in the middle of the growing season, the first day of summer. And this is the solstice. This is the really, really important one. And we're in this three-day window right here. We've taken out all of these lows. And we're going to see uh, from the high that we made. On the 26th was the low, we came up. And we're setting almost exactly here at uh, within one 
two pennies now, uh, one penny of the exact 786. That's taken out these lows, and we're going to get there. Now, you notice it's still trading at 74. This is a huge market, folks. It trades a lot. So if it fails here, we're probably going to go down and look at some more to the downside. We've already done that. Uh, in the soybeans, let's just take a look. Not the soybean oil. Soybean oil is still looking pretty good, but the uh, this is the uh, this is the soybeans. Here we are in November beans. We had a little bit of a rally in here off of this, and it's just been straight down. Looking at this on the long-term daily, we're also going to be looking at some taking out the lows of February, folks. This is this is actually what you want to have happening at this particular time. Now, we might get all the way down to here. There's a, that's, that's only another 20 cents. We could possibly do that. But, folks, I have never been in a year in my 62 years of trading where we don't get at least one or two major crop scares in corn and beans every single year. I mean, and with, you know, the way things are in the news these days with the tornadoes and all the other stuff, uh, we're bound to see something. It's interesting. But there was a three drive pattern here and we tried the wheat wheat was the last one that we tried let's, let's do the december we went to show the winners and the losers let's get this daily up here i still think it's on the program here yep there it is right here and oh shut the front door and raise the rent here it is right here so we can see it together there's where our buy was. This boy, that how about failing? Should have re reverse and fail to the look. There was the buy right here. We lost to ten cents on that. Bought it here at forty one. We stopped out right there, and so that's that was a that was a losing trade. Everything was perfect, and we blow it up. You could see it really nicely. There was your expansion numbers. Stayed right here for about a day, and then down she came, and it's going down. Now we're we're down at the seventy eight percent level of the whole move. Let's just go to the daily, and you'll be able to see it. And here we are on the daily coming in. All right. And where are we? We're sitting right over the solstice. Now, folks, the solstice is so important. Andrew Lowe, who runs a, a applied engineering, a financial engineering for MIT, when he wrote his book, Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he included the whole uh, – actually, it was a, the secondary book on the technical analysis of the markets that the uh, Sumerians and Babylonians were the first astrologers and they used it for wheat and corn. And this is where we are. We're over a solstice right now. Very, very important. So let's just go back and see what happened. I haven't done this yet. So let's go back and see where we were on the last solstice. Okay. There, it was making a high. You see it right there on the solstice? Right there. It happened to be a double high, but there was the high right there on, on that day. And here we are coming in to another solstice right now and boy this is where you want to be watching it in my opinion now we've come down a uh, dollar fifty a bushel and of course we had a you know this beautiful this is a three drive pattern of course that we looked at so you got to be watching them right in here and that's why i'm watching them i said uh, we have to do some work on them we probably this is thursday we got the friday weekend so come monday if they're not lower i'm going to be probably buying the beans wheat corn meal anything that lasts Let's take a look here at the soybean meal since we're talking about the soybean meal because that's also had a pretty good whacking to the downside. As you can see, we'll be right back. We didn't hold this 618, and that means we're headed lower. We're below the 786 now. Meal's not looking good either, folks, so let's be careful. Hold on. We'll be right back. Let's Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've had a couple of requests for charts. I not do too much with these stocks, but you can see Apple. We came within a, a half a dollar of the exact 1.618 expansion up here, and we backed off a little bit. So the first thing I'd be watching is to watch for a 382 retracement on this for a potential really strong buy. And that's where the old high is right here, $200. That's got to be a really good spot to take a look at the long side of Apple right there. There's your... 382 retracement right here. There's your old high. Boy, that's that's a beauty. You certainly like that. You've got these smaller ones in here, but this is the one that really counts. So it's only $9 away, so we could uh, see that uh, relatively easily. Now, also, we need to check on Tesla. And then, oh, well, we'll do Tesla, and then we'll do uh, NVIDIA. And I don't know if I've got NVIDIA. I know I have NVIDIA, but I don't know if I have it without the split. That's the problem. I got to talk to uh, um, Ensign that show I had to do that. I know they get that. Here's Tesla. I still think we're heading down here to this level in Tesla, which is 160. It's 181 right now. It's really done, not done very much here the last five days. It's been a more or less high level consolidation, a little bit lower highs in here. Not too much, but we'll take a look now at NVIDIA. And uh, I, well, since we're doing that, I, they've asked me to look at uh, the the uh, semiconductor Tesla's right here. Okay, we'll get it. That's that's taken care of. Now let's go to NVIDIA, which starts with an N, right? There you go. Should be able to do it. There it is right here. And let's see if we've got the split in. Uh, split's not here. They've tried to help me do this, but let me. Like, what I'll do is let me go to the four hour. That'll give you a rough idea where it is. It's had it. Well, that's not going to help. Sorry, folks. I just, you know, I'm not prepared to do this stuff with the splits because I don't do any stocks at all. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit troubling for me. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that, and then we want to get over. And I want to talk just a tiny bit here about the um, uh, live hawks. Let's get over here one second. Here, someone asked a question about it, so I'm going to try to answer it the best I can. We've had a pretty good bottom in August hogs form. As you can see, we uh, we came down to this level right here. We look at this on the smaller time frame. I believe it was this one. Hopefully it was. Let's just get it up here. Nope, it must have been the hourly. I always watch the hourly. Yeah, this was the ABCD to the downside right in here. We had to rally up. 
and the rally that we rallied from the last high down to the low. Where did it stop? Friday, Thursday, Friday stopped exactly at the 382. Now it's making a pullback in here with a little gap down. So kind of watch this because as you, this could be the major bottom. There was the ABCD to the downside right here in the hogs. This was the Friday when we were doing the trading show and I had, this is my number one thing and I missed it because I was doing so many other things. The four losses that we took that day, folks, were all 382s that failed. I didn't do one ABCD trade. I tried, I got three great trades, but they'd missed it by a buck or a buck and a half, crude oil, and uh, I forget what the other one was, but they just missed, and I all, all my losses were related to the 3A2, which is, that happens. Anyway, watch this. This is very important in hogs, from my opinion, because you got a four-day rally here, boom, bang, boom, and now you're pulling back, and where you're setting, real close to this. So watch this. Um, it's a little late in the day to be doing this. Only got an hour to go. So watch this tomorrow in the in the Hawks. They could they could uh, possibly have some good support in here. So pay pay close attention to that if you're interested in the live Hogs, which uh, I happen to be. Okay, all right. We had one other. Well, I never had a. No one's asked me about Coco since Hector was a pup, but I'm going to try to answer it right now. Okay, this was Coco when we got up to a hundred thousand, eleven hundred eighteen thousand dollars, folks, hundred eleven thousand dollars on Coco. Look at that three drive pattern. Let's just get it here so we can see it real clearly. Okay, just take this out and you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. Drive one. Drive two. Drive three. Look at that. Look at the top. Eleven thousand six eighty one. The high was eleven thousand seven eighty two. I mean, it was uh, within. Now, 30 points of that, and it breaks all the way down. And now what we're going to be looking at is taking this right over here. And we're doing, it looks like we're heading down uh, in that move right here. That's what we're watching here as we take a quick uh, look at that. Okay, I think that's what uh, we're paying attention to right now. And that will take care of uh, that. All righty. Okay, all right, move on here to the next one here that we're watching. We've got an eye on, um, well, we're done with the Russell, uh, but done with the bean oil. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, S&P, what it's doing here from the shorter term time frame. And where are you, S&P? Here it is right here. Okay, so we've come down here, and we've made uh, another new low, and then we had a little bit of a rally, so it's still still moving down. We've got a little bit lower to go, and we're not too far away from the move here in the um, NASDAQ that would give us the, uh, this would be really important folks from a, from a technical perspective is, I mean, this is the first major correction we've had in a long time, folks. We're talking 400 points. That's a huge correct. And there's your, there's your 1.618 number. Now what we need to do is let's just take this on an hourly and see what the next big 382 is. Okay, here's here's what we want to do. There's there's your low right in here. See this nice low that we had in here? So that's the one you want to be watching. Let's get it rid of it, and we'll come over here. And we're going to see what that 3A2, because that's going to be the big daddy rabbit, in my opinion. And we are going to be looking at that at, look at that, folks, how it comes in. There's your ABCD. There's your big daddy rabbit wearing the hat right here at 19653. That's down another 100 points from where we are right now. So watch that. We start getting below here. It's going to be the first time it's broken a major 382. Even this one right here was a 382. We, we talked about this. I remember several times because we were, you know, during those days of last week, from your low up to your high, there it was, exactly 382. Where was this one? Exactly 382. And it hit it twice. So that's telling you where the trend is. So this is going to be it right here. At uh, well, let's 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 make it at the actual price of uh, 19,600. Uh, uh, that's 150 points from where we are right now. Keep an eye on that one for uh, educational purposes. We've got Stan Harley coming up tomorrow. Is Norm Winsky and he's a real special tomorrow because of the solstice, folks. We got, I got a couple of questions. Ask him about it. I'm going to review the book by Andrew Lowe about the Sumerians and Babylonians and how they wrote about the corn and the wheat and the solstices and stuff. And you know, we're down here in new lows. And believe me, folks, I've been in this business for 62 years. I've never had a year where we don't have at least one or two scares. I mean, major crop scares in corn and beans and boy, or and wheat too. So we've got. 
good opportunities coming in here. We had some nice moves earlier. Uh, we've been standing aside for a while. Everything's coming together, so we'll be looking to be a buyer most probably either tomorrow or uh, Monday. I'm going to be doing the videos on it later today and getting those out to everybody so we can take a look at it, see what our risk is going to be at that point. But we just need the slightest bit of support coming in, and that'll be enough for me. Now, if it snaps back above these lows really quickly, that's going to be the first time, like if corn snaps back above uh, 466, we're at 457 right now in the corn. At least uh, I checked it the last time. Let's get it over here. Yeah, we're exactly at uh, 457. We've taken out the lows of April. The, the contract lows are way down here at 446, and we could easily get to there. I mean, if the, you know, maybe this is a giant A, B, C, D. This is the one. This was the, that day on Friday, the, the trading day. I missed this perfect A, B, C, D because I was busy doing other things. We didn't get filled. Anyway, let's take a break here, and we got the gold report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. My friend, please continue what you started last week because it's still going up. Made new highs today. 
Well, hello, Larry. Uh, well, we made new highs today, but uh, we might have hit a we might have hit a glass ceiling today. We might just very possibly have made a summer solstice high. Uh, uh -huh. Let's let's take a look at a few things, shall we? You um, love to. We're going to start out by uh, just kind of reviewing my philosophy of of, of the markets. Uh, I'm a aerospace engineer by education and training. And uh, I think like an engineer, I model the markets like an engineer. Um, early on in my engineering career, all engineers do, we study what's called uh, kinematics. And that is, this, uh, we, we study the motion of objects through time and space, irrespective of the forces behind that motion. And, uh, and I use exactly the same concept with the markets. I call this this science uh, of, of technical analysis and, and, and chart study market kinematics. And so I'm interested in the movement of price on a graph, irrespective of the forces that might be behind that movement. I don't care what the forces are, whether it's the Fed or the president or the Supreme Court justice or um, <laughs> a terrorist event or whatever, good or bad. I just want to look at the chart. I want to study the past history if I can model it mathematically, then perhaps I'm onto something, and then I want to use that model to perhaps project it in the future, and that's that's what I do. Okay. Uh, I'm a, a big fan of numbers, um, and uh, this is a, a quote from a, a French uh, mathematician. He said, "Behind the wall, the gods play. They play with numbers, of which the new universe is made up." And on the air with you, uh, I stress these common numerology concepts that are just the core of my study. Uh, I look at Fibonacci ratios, I look at Fibonacci numbers, and I look at Lucas numbers. And as a I've side, got a question. I look at market cycles. But just from a numerology perspective, I focus on these three things. I have a and, question. Uh, yes, sir. Do you use, you, you got the Lucas series, do you use the ratios within the series to see if that has any replication? Because I'm looking the, at two of the ratios, 76 and 123, that's almost exactly one to 618. It, well, it, it is. The Lucas numbers and the Fibonacci numbers, if you divide each successive term by the other, you get <laughs> 0. 0.618 or 1.618, depending on what you put in the numerator and the denominator. By, very, by have, their definition. They I have are another question. Related to that ratio, yes. yes. When you do it with the ratios of Fibonacci sequence, when you get to the eighth iteration, in other words, 1, 3, 5, 8, 13, out to 21, 34, 55, when you get to that, it either goes up or down. It never, it never changes. It goes up one tick on the next iteration and down one tick, and the next it stays at 0. 0.618 forever. Does the Lucas series do something like that? Do you know? Exactly the same, Larry. No different. Really? Wow. No different at all. I have to all. take a look at it. Um, okay. I. How did he come well, up with the Lucas numbers? Where did, Do you know the derivation of it? Well, a French mathematician named Eduardo Lucas came up with these numbers. And what initially uh, pushed him in that direction, I do not know. He published his work. And uh, within that published works... And the name escapes me for the moment here, um, but he introduced this series. And he made the conjunction between the Euclid ratios of 0.618 and 1.618 and Leonardo of Pisa's numerical counts and linked them together and said, hey, they're one and the same and they're all related. And he conferred the name Fibonacci on, uh, on Leonardo of Pisa. Okay. But uh, yeah, Leonardo's name was not Fibonacci. His name was Leonardo of, of Pisa, Italy. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, Mr. Lucas brought us a great gift. Uh, and I find these numbers you see on the screen uh, to be very, very powerful in defining market moves. In fact, I find them to be far more important than Fibonacci. Um, what I've done here is I've constructed a table. And on the left, far left column here are the Lucas numbers 7 through 843. And then I have also found that if I double these numbers, I get the second column, or I divide them by two, I get this column. And uh, those numbers right there, those first three columns, show up 
time and time and time again in the markets, all markets, all time frames. And then I have a fourth column over here in which I multiply the Lucas series by four. Those show up as well. They are of lesser importance, but they do show up. So I'm showing uh, all four columns. All right, let's look at uh, let's look at the market here and see if uh, we see these numbers popping up. Starting with the stock market, uh, it's my theme, Larry, that we are marching uh, very rapidly towards a major market peak, a secular market peak. It could stand for many years, if not decades. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, I think it's coming at the end of the year. But uh, let me just show you uh, what I have under the microscope. And this is a repeat of some of, of, of the chart that we've shown in the past. But uh, good old Mr. Lucas uh, and his, uh, his double counts show up time and time again. This is a weekly chart going back about 40 years. And if we just start here with the high in March of 2000 and go either left or right, you can see the double Lucas numbers define the weekly counts of the major highs uh, going to the right in time and then going to the left we have the crash low of 87. So for example, within four weeks of being exactly Lucas 322 times two, 644, that defined the crash low in 87. All right, let's go to the right in time. If we take the Lucas number 199, double it, we get 398. And as you can see, within four weeks, that defined the high in October of 07. And it has, this has nothing to do with the housing, or the great financial bubble, or whatever you want to call it. It's just numbers. All right, let's go forward in time another 199 oh. times two, and we get the May 2015 high within one week. Let's go forward again, another doubling of the Lucas count. In this case, I've taken the Lucas number 123, double it, 246, and it lines up pristinely with the so-called COVID top. Again, this had nothing to do with COVID. <laughs> it's just numbers. All right, let's take the number, Lucas number 47, double it, you get 94, and you get the Jan 2022 high within four weeks. Very interesting. Okay, that worked in the past. What about the future? Well, uh, the next clustering I get is the Lucas number 76 times two, which is 152. Let's add 152 weeks to January. Uh, for 2022, and we get this week in November, November 5th to the 12th, so, right in there. Anything okay. going on then that you might be aware of? Uh, no, I don't think there may. People are they're they're over in Polish. They're doing something with poles, aren't they? <laughs> hey, Stan, will you come back with another segment, please? Hello, we'll be right back, Stan. Thank you very much, my friend. Love you. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. Absolutely, Larry. Um, I think uh, there's a good chance we may have uh, made, a, made a high today. Um, and I'm going to show you why uh, with some of the numbers we've just been talking about. Uh, just as a backdrop, solstices and equinoxes, always, uh, I always pay attention to those. The markets don't reverse at every single solstice and equinox, but uh, they often do. Uh, today happens to be the summer solstice, incidentally. Um, here is a chart of the NASDAQ, NASDAQ going back to uh, a little over a year. And... Uh, what I've noticed is uh, my good old friend Lucas number 29, and it's double, which is 58, has defined every single high in the NASDAQ, every single one, uh, mm -hmm. going back to uh, July 19th of 2023. And you can see I've marked with blue vertical lines uh, and shown the trading, the, uh, the count in trading days, and the cycle expands and contracts a little bit. Uh, but... Uh, uh, Every 29 or its double component, 58 trading days, has coincided with a significant high in the NASDAQ. Uh, and uh, by the way, if you take the, the high where this cycle began, which was on July 19th of last year, and you add eight iterations of this 29-day cycle, uh, 29 times 8 equals 232. If you add 232 trading days to July 19th, that equals June 20th, 2024. Today. Wow. Today. Today. That's uh, today's the day. Well, it's a solstice day, well, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so far, uh, the market is measured by the S&P and the NAS is reflecting some weakness, not so by the Dow. Uh, but we've kind of had a we have what I call a bifurcated market over the last several weeks. That is the NAS, and the, which has been gravity defying, has pulled up the S&P. Those two have been uh, punching the new high button on almost a daily basis. Uh, but the Dow Jones Industrials, no. The broadly based New York Composite, no. The Dow Transports, no. The Russell 2000, no. So while the NAS and the S&P have been punching new high ground of late, the rest of the market has not. So I think we've got a little catch up to do. Um, I think we're in store for a short but sharp whack-a-mole over the next several days. Um, and then uh, then the pattern will be reset and we'll be ready to take off uh, on the upside once again. Well, let's let's talk a little bit further about this uh, the high that I think is being made as we speak. Uh, here's okay. my table again, just to refresh folks' memory. Uh, the left-hand column is the Luca series. The secondary column is the times two count. The next column is the divided by two, and the last column is uh, times four. We're just gonna focus on the first three columns right here. 
for, for today. Okay. Uh, here is a chart uh, that I printed off here just a few minutes ago. Um, this is a chart of the S&P going back a couple of years. And uh, what I've done is I've marked all of the major highs and lows. And uh, what I've noted is the actual trading day count uh, between these pivot points. The uh, highs, I have a blue, blue vertical line. The lows, I have a red vertical line. And the trading counts across the top, uh, for example, between the uh, March 16th low of 2023 and the October low, uh, the October 27th low of that year, it was 159 trading days. And parentheses, I've got 161. Where did 161 come from? Uh, 161 happens to be 322 divided by two. Lucas number. Okay. So in every case, Larry, every case, 100% of the time, the major pivot points in the market have been defined by the Lucas numbers or their uh, one half count. Uh, if you take this low that occurred on January the 27th, 2023, that major washout low we had, and you add 161 trading days, just like we did here, if you add 161 days to that date, it lands on June 20th, 2024, today. Wow. Today happens to be 18 Lucas days from this high that occurred on um, May 23rd, and we happen to be essentially 58 trading days from the high that occurred back here on March 28th. So we've got a nice little clustering of Lucas numbers lining up with today. So the NASDAQ is making a 29 day cycle high. And on the S&P chart, we have just a marvelous Lucas clustering right here. So I think we're gonna see a short whack-a-mole into next week, kind of reset uh, and let folks know the markets don't only go up. Uh, but uh, oh. incidentally, if oh. you take today's high and you add the number 94, which is Lucas 47 times two, there's 94, you add that to today, uh, it takes you to that first week in November, which is when I think uh, we could see a significant market high. So well, if you're making wait a, minute, a high. Man. The last time we had a down day was the day after Easter. Wasn't that Monday after Easter back in April? Was the last time we had a down day in the S&P? Well, we had, an, we had an important low on April the 19th. Yeah, on, I knew it was something like that, yeah. Is that, is, that what that, is that what you're referring to? I was being facetious, but yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, wow. I got it. <laughs> Let me put on my cheap suit. Um, okay, if Stan thinks there's a high being formed right here, well, where's the next logical place to look for a low? Well, here's a – we've looked at the NAS, we've looked at the S&P, now let's look at the Dow. Um, the Dow, well, the broad market overall, but I'm using the Dow chart here for illustrative purposes, has had a tendency to make – cycle lows every 53 trading days, plus or minus. This has been a very, very reliable cycle. It has expanded a little bit, a couple of times over here, but then it reset right back to 53, plus or minus, and that cycle is due uh, next week. Uh, cycle lows, by the way, or even cycle highs, but cycle lows uh, do not necessarily coincide with the price low of a move. What they do do is they coincide with the point at which price velocity balloons in the opposite direction, uh, in this case, to the upside. So I think what is likely to occur is we're going to get a short but sharp whack-a-ball over the next week. Uh, and then sometime between Wednesday, Thursday-ish, plus or minus, and, that, and, and all the indices may not bottom on the same day. But by the end of the week, I think we will accomplish the next 53-day cycle low. And then the following week, uh, all the, the water will be wrung out of the sponge, so to speak, and we'll, we will be ready to power higher. And I think the next couple of months of the summer are going to be just just boom, boom, boom on the upside. <laughs> By the way, wow. just, just since the April 19th low, uh, which is just a little more than two months ago, the S&P has gone up over 10%. That's a whopping move in just two months' time. Um, yeah, but NVIDIA has gone up more than 10%, I think. Sure. I mean, those are those are those are like dot com uh, numbers that we had on those. <laughs> yes. Hey, listen. Thanks for joining. Do you have some more? Because uh, we got two more minutes if you'd like to use it. 
We can we can come back on and take questions. Absolutely. Uh, okay, we do have a question, so I'll uh, bring right. it up. It's a, good. it's about the souls. Okay. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv okay we're back folks talking with stan harley the question that we have stan i think i know the answer but i'll let you answer it the question asked about the when you solstice that has to be related to astrology and the answer to that is any day on any of the calendars is all related to astrology because they're all days now you don't use astrology but a solstice is another way of looking at astrology so is that the way to answer it i mean it's just a day it's like no other except it happens to be the start of a season yes uh, well, this is this is your your field, so um, well, they, they you have four. You know it yeah. vastly more than I do. Uh, I'm an yeah. amateur astronomer, amateur astronomer, but I I'm not a professed astrologer with respect to the markets. But I do I do know from having looked at this for many many decades that uh, solstices and equinoxes frequently coincide within about two to four trading days with uh, important pivot points in the market, sometimes more significant than others. Okay, wow. All right, well, anything else you'd like to share with us? I think that pretty well summarizes things, uh, Larry. Okay, yeah. why don't you tell the folks how they could reach you, get a sample of the letter, and we'll have you on again in a few weeks if you don't mind. We love having you on. Well, thank you, my, my pleasure. Um, 
here's my contact info, and if folks want to get a hold of me, um, there, there it is. Okay, thank you so much for being with us, Dan, and we'll have you on in a few weeks, okay? Okay, I look forward to it. Okay. Okay, folks, uh, we got the Dow, up, um, oh, Dow Jones up almost 300 with the S&P and the NASDAQ down. Boy, you don't see that very often. And Russell is still down, but uh, the market's going with the Dow Jones today. The 30 big stocks, are, and in fact, they're moving quite a bit. They're up almost 300 points. Boy, you don't see that very often. As Basil would say, it's a bifurcated market. So it's going to be interesting what happens with the next few days for sure. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And our guest will be Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. So stay with us till tomorrow, and we'll see you all then. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll be back tomorrow.